Hey, hey everybody, this is Jamie at FromHisPresence.com. It's so good to see you today. Thanks for watching. I just wanted to share a little encouraging tip with you because I know a lot of people have been going through a hard time right now. I get so many emails and comments on the blog and things like that just saying pray for me. And one of the big things I'm seeing is that people have been hurt. And of course, that's not exclusive to this time. I mean, people hurt people throughout life. So, you know, it, it's an unfortunate thing, um, a result that we of the fact that we live in a sinful world. And I, I know that God has been working on so many of us about forgiving. And so that's great. And I'm so proud of all of us for forgiving, you know, in this community. We've been talking about that so much. But I wanted to share a little tip with you because sometimes you can forgive and forgive and forgive and forgive and forgive some more. And it's good and, and you need to do that because Jesus said that if we don't forgive the people that hurt us, of course, then Father will not forgive us. So we have to keep forgiving. But sometimes that healing that we're looking for feels like it's a little slow to come. You know, we hope that it gets here uh, right when we forgive, that as soon as we forgive, we're healed. And a lot of the times that happens. But when it doesn't happen, what do you do? Well, just recently, the Holy Spirit put it on my heart to pray a short, simple little phrase that really uh, made a big difference in the situation that I was praying about. And I believe it's going to help you too. And here's the reason. Sometimes when, when you're hurt over something, you can feel the, um, it's almost like the, the enemy's attack. You can feel it coming at you or you can feel the, um, the words or the feelings or whatever that came from another person that hurt you. And you can feel those coming at you almost like a cloud of arrows. But remember that, um, that the Lord delivers us from the arrow that flies by day. That's in Psalm 91. And so the Lord put it on my heart just recently to say, you know what? Instead of feeling like I'm having to defend myself from these arrows that I sense from the enemy coming at me, because remember, we are not wrestling against people. People are not our enemy. We're wrestling against, uh, not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and, and rulers of this present darkness, you know. So our battle is against the devil and his minions, okay. So instead of always having to be on the defensive with these arrows flying at you all day long, the Lord showed me, hey, Become your own assault in righteousness. And this is how. And he showed me, uh, just, he said, Jamie, just pray um, that you, that, that I would send forgiveness. I was just impressed on this. Okay. It was just the Holy Spirit impressed me to do this. That I would, I send forgiveness proactively to all the people that have ever hurt me. Okay. Now, in in this, it works for a specific situation, like you know, all the people who hurt me in this situation. It works if I have a specific person in mind. It works no matter what. It, it was like I just had this impression of myself and a mental picture in my mind's eye of myself being a big ball of light, and uh, instead of being attacked by those enemy arrows coming at me, I was just sending forgiveness out everywhere. I was like being a, a ball, a flaming ball of, of light and the light rays were the forgiveness. And I was just sending forgiveness out constantly, constantly emitting forgiveness towards everybody. And as soon as I saw that in my head, I began to pray, Lord, you know, I just send forgiveness to them. Whatever the situation was that I was praying about, you know, it didn't matter. I've used it on a couple of different situations. And it's just like, Lord, I just send forgiveness out to them. And when I began praying that way, all of a sudden, my perception changed and what I felt in the spirit realm changed. The atmosphere around me literally changed because no longer was I on the defensive, you know, like God keep these arrows away from me, Father. You know, whether it's animosity I was feeling or whether it was just hurt or memories or whatever, I was no longer sensing those things. Instead, I was being proactive and just sending out forgiveness and I was sensing in the atmosphere around me, it suddenly just became filled with light. 
Why? Because I was just filling it up myself instead of waiting to defend it from whatever was coming at me, okay? So that's a real simple prayer. Just, Lord, I send forgiveness to them. I send forgiveness. Doesn't matter who's hurt you. You know, it could be family, friends, someone you don't know, a coworker, a boss. Who knows? Doesn't matter. Lord, I send forgiveness to them today. And if you have to do it every single day, that's okay. But I have noticed that since I began praying that way, that all of a sudden my heart I uh, just was able to let go and I didn't feel that heavy weight. I didn't feel that hurt. Even though I'd forgiven a million times before, all of a sudden that pain went away and I'm just like, oh, a relief because I was proactively in charge of my atmosphere, okay? So that's your tip, Lord. I send forgiveness and I just encourage you to pray that and I believe you're gonna be blessed. And I just pray in Jesus' name right now that you would have an anointing to forgive people like Jesus forgave people. You know, he forgave the people who hung him on the cross. And I just pray that you would have that conviction from the Holy Spirit that if anyone, if there's anyone in your life that you have not forgiven thoroughly, that I ask that Holy Spirit, you would show them so that they can be free. They can be healed. They can be clean on the inside, Father. They can be free from that bondage of unforgiveness and bitterness. God, protect them. Give them revelation and courage. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Thanks so much for watching. It's always a pleasure to talk to you and have an awesome day. I'll see you soon on fromhispresence.com for very frequent, encouraging, and prophetic words. We'd love to see you over there. Have a great day. Bye-bye.